There are a lot of ways to make bells in Animal Crossing. I myself have lots of bells, and today I'm going to take you through just my top five favorite methods, both for beginners and people who are a bit further along in the game, for making bells. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll even share with you a bonus tip. Hey, by the way, in the comments, let me know how much money you currently have sitting in your ABD, give or take. While you're there, maybe help me come up with some ways on how I can spend all of mine. All right, number five on the list is a classic, the fruit orchard. And the goal here is to plant as many of these trees as you can. And in particular, they should be fruit that is not native to your island. You can find non-native fruit by trading with friends, or sometimes people even just send it to you in the mail. Visiting Nook Miles Island, sometimes you'll find an island that has your sister fruit on it. So my native fruit is the pear, and my sister fruit happens to be an apple. So I got apples really early on. One native fruit sells for 100 bells, but non-native fruit sells for 500 bells each. And if you plant coconuts while you're at it, those sell for 250 each. At number four is the fabled money rock. Each day on your island, one of your rocks will be a money rock. And it's capable of dropping around 16,000 bells provided you're able to strike it all eight times. So it helps to have something behind you like some shrubs or some holes so you don't miss any of your hits. Number three is one of my favorites. It's the daily hot item from Nook's Cranny. If you have the upgraded Nook's Cranny, there's actually two of these each day. And these items are being bought for double their original value. They're always craftable items, and you should only ever see requests for items you can currently craft, meaning you know the recipe. If you're sitting on a lot of unused crafting resources, this can make you huge amounts of money. It actually works out that each crafting resource in the game has an attached value. If you craft them into an item, you always sell that for double what each resource was worth. So if a barbell takes 10 iron nuggets and you sell it, you earn the same amount of bells had you sold 20 iron nuggets. So when you're selling the hot items, you're actually quadrupling the value of each resource. Our number two method is something that you can do each day, and that's plant a money tree. Find a shimmering spot in the ground and dig it up for a thousand bells. Then, provided your shovel doesn't break, you can bury those bells for a money tree worth up to 3,000 bells once it's fully grown. If your shovel does happen to break, going indoors will actually cover up the shimmering hole, so you want to try and craft one outside if possible. It also helps if you can avoid being stung by wasps in the process of gathering shovel materials. Anyway, you should instead plant 10,000 bells in this spot instead of the 1,000, because you're actually guaranteed to have a tree that drops 30,000 bells once it's fully grown. Also, it's worth noting you can pick up the tree once you plant it and move it somewhere maybe with less wasps around. Finally, at number one, we have pumpkin farming. You can buy pumpkins from Leaf or Nook's Cranny, and they're by far the best way for beginners to make those bells. Each pumpkin plant is capable of producing three pumpkins when it's fully grown. It's important that you water your pumpkin farm every day for maximum results. Each pumpkin you sell is worth 350 bells, so my tiny little pumpkin farm, fully grown, is worth 10,500 bells. So have fun with your massive pumpkin farms. Now you may have been expecting my number one method to have been turnips, but including that would have come with a lot of details, and I decided that I actually want to do a separate video about turnips to share with you some of my strategies so that you keep your risk low when you're actually dealing in turnips. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. All right, bonus tip time. Thank you for staying to the end. So if you've managed to grow gold or even blue roses, you're sitting on a small fortune potentially. Pick these flowers, don't dig them, pluck the tops off of them and sell them. Seriously, they only take a couple days to grow back and each flower is worth a thousand bells each. Maybe that isn't news to some of you, but I learned this trick way too late. 